Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. This is DIY with Jeannie and my name is Jeannie Ruth. And today we are going to take this little candy jar and decorate it for Halloween. So I could have it on my desk at school and have a few little candies in it. And then when people stop by, they can grab a candy if they'd like. Um, it will not be in my desk out in my classroom. My desk is in the back. And um, so basically it'll be teachers who come by to grab a snack. So I'm going to be using the uh, papaya and the black velvet. The papaya is very pumpkin-y, pumpkin-esque, and the black, of course. Now, today, rather than use chalk couture stencils, and, and it's almost sacrilege for me to say that because I am a chalk couture designer, but I love this particular set of Halloween minis that were put out by the Magnolia Design Company. Now, I have nothing to do with Magnolia. I saw these, I needed them, and I bought them. And it's the same as if I bought off of Amazon, which I do that as well. But I did want to share them with you, and I'm still going to use Chalk Tour paint, but I am using this particular stencil. Please don't shoot me. Uh, I have, I'm not that familiar with their stencils. This will be my first stencil. For Magnolia. I know how Chuck Tour works, so I am just going to go on the assumption they work very similar. But I really like these, and so I thought we would do the pumpkin with the witch's hat and the bats, and what we'll do is we'll put them on two different sides. So I just thought that would be kind of fun. So let's cut it out. And remember that where it's white is where the paint goes through. So this line, if you get too close to it, and I learned this the really hard way, um, the paint will go through it. I left a stencil together because I wanted to use both sides, and I was just like, yeah, I'm just going to put it on, blah, 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 blah. And I got a line right down the middle, and it was on a shirt, and I could not do anything about it. And I tried to wash it while it was still wet, and I still could do nothing about it. So put that out there for you. Uh, lesson learned, um, you know, we all have to learn. We live and learn. So anyway, so let us get our jar ready. I've already wiped it down with alcohol. It is completely smudged and oil free. So I am going to fuzz the stencil. What that means is take some of the sticky off so that I'll be able to get it back off the jar. And we're going to do this one, even though there's the moon, we're going to do it in black. I just think that would be pretty. And since it's going on my desk, it's kind of, kind of me in it. Now I could have done the moon in white and that would have been stunning as well. But I've done a black moon before this year and don't really mind how it looks. On that one I actually put the um, shadows from, uh, mm-hmm. The craters in black so that was a little bit different but I like it and that's what matters so let's get this open and it is the newest the creamy dreamy yumminess paint I think the papaya is the old formula and yes I'm a hater I really am and I need to stop that but well come on there we go so it was just beautiful it's just beautiful we're just going to see how gorgeous that is. I don't even have to mix it. So we're just going to put that on. Now, I could use ink. And the ink, then I would bake in the oven. And it would be permanent. And it would be my little Halloween jar from this day forward. But if I use paste, then I can um, change holidays with it. So I just come in, wash it, and then uh, change it over to my Christmas or winter scenes or whatever. So I just tend to go for paste because I know it is temporary. And I like that idea of it being temporary. So there you go. Everywhere I got it on here, I can just go in and clean up. I've got a couple spots that on there and what I'm going to do is while we are still working I'm just going to set this down it's a silicone mat and I get it wet so that it's easier for me to clean it 
shortly. I'm going to take off a lot of that black real quick with my paper towel. Let's see how it just come back here. Lay yourself down. Let's see how it just comes right off. Now it will leave kind of a uh, shadowy stain on it, and that's fine. I mean, that just shows you that you've used it. Grab a little bit more paper towels. Grab the roll. Because I end up with paint everywhere. As you can see, I have a bit on my table. This is stained, by the way, and yes, it will come off. I just haven't scrubbed it off yet. But I buy these little silicone baking mats at uh, off of Amazon. Love them. And um, they clean right up. So that's the really, really good. That was interesting. That's the really nice thing about those. So let's see how he's doing. He looks really good. What's that? Well, that's supposed to be there, so. Maybe it's just a bat in the background. It's down here. I'm not real sure what that design is. But it's on the stencil, so. I don't know. So we're just going to leave it. So now we're going to flip it over. And we want to put it on this side. So, since I don't know that it's dry, I'm going to have it standing up. And we are going to use this jack-o'-lantern with the witch's hat. The witch's hat is going to be the black. And so I will use my detail squeegee pen, basically. I'll show it to you. I use it for just about everything. It is like my trusty little, but see, it has a much smaller area that I'll be able to get right in there at that edge. So let's look. So I can put it in really close here. Now, from what I can tell, these are not that much different than Chalk Couture. But like I said, I am an independent designer for Chalk Couture, and I do prefer it. Um, it's just personal. It's It's got nothing to do with one company versus the other. It's just the one I go with. Um, but they both are very, very easy to use. Like I said, I picked this one up just for the same reason I would pick one up on Amazon. I liked it. I liked the images they do not chuck tour and silhouette do not do or um silhouette. magnolia do not do the same designs so you know if you really really like a particular design you kind of have to go with the company that did that one um i found chuck tour first chuck tour is older than magnolia um, they had a little bad blood for a little while, but they don't now, so, you know, I don't, I probably should be loyal to one or the other, but I'm not. I would rather, I'm loyal to the paste. I think Chalk Torch paste is amazing. Their new paste, their older paste, you'll see in a minute. I'm kind of a hater about it, and I shouldn't be, and I need to let that go, but I just can't. Welcome to my world. Now, we're going to close this black. We're done with it. And we're going to use the papaya, which is this orangey color. Like I said, I'm pretty sure it's the old. It is. So we're just going to add a little water. We are going to mix it. I'm going to mix it with things. I just stuck my foot in it. No, I didn't. It's fine. Just going to mix it up. You'll notice it's not so creamy. Not so creamy, dreamy. And, um, yeah, I have hard feelings for it. I need to stop it, but I don't see why it's now the only ones you can buy is the new. So I can feel as ugly towards it as I want. Let's take a look here. I'm going to do our little pumpkin. And I'm going to have to use that little tool again. Let's get as much of it on here as I can without using that little tool. And notice I got it down here, but that wipes right off, which it really is what I love about their paste. It's 
just so forgiving. The ink is as well, as long as you get it before you burn it on, before you fire it on. Once you've heated it, yeah, it's there. Um, you can scratch it off. Um, but then, yeah, you'd have to start over and then I just want to do that. But there we go. We're just getting it up to that line. So our little jack-o'-lantern is done. Strip it back in. Because even though I may not love this paste, it's still usable and I am not going to waste it just simply because I have negative feelings for it. Because that would just be silly. Let's take our stencil off and let you see the end result. And there we go. So I have my bats on one side and my, my little witchy pumpkin on the other. And I am going to take some of that uh, kids mix with the Tootsie Rolls and things. And that is what's going to go inside. So let's let it dry and I'll get it all dressed up for you. And be right back. So here is our little Halloween jar. Our pumpkin with its little witchy hat on. And then on this side with our bats, which you can barely see because of the candy inside. But because I got Tootsie Rolls, in just a second now. Put the yellow bats down there so you can see it a little bit better. There we go. You can see how that came out. And I think it's adorable. So this, with my little candy pieces will sit on my drawer on my desk not my drawer sit on my desk and when teachers come in feeling the need they can have a little piece of candy enjoy the holiday season and there you go by the way this jar dollar tree so i love using dollar tree it's kind of one of my one of my favorite places so that is if you're looking for these jars they were at dollar tree I appreciate your coming. Uh, please give me a thumbs up. Give me a like. Subscribe if you haven't. I'd love to have you be part of my community. Um, I'm trying to build this little community of uh, crafters so that we can not only do chalk paint, but we can also do other kinds of crafting and other ideas. And so I will be back. I try to make it Mondays, Thursdays, and Saturdays with a new video. So I will be back on Saturday. This one should air on Thursday. And we'll be, be back on Saturday for um, some new designs. And so hope to see you then.